For an oil change on the 2022 Kawasaki Ultra 310, you'll need five quarts of 10W40 synthetic oil and one genuine Kawasaki oil filter. You'll also need a commercially available vacuum extractor like the one pictured here. The next step is to remove the six 10 millimeter acorn nuts holding the engine cover in place. Next, start the engine to warm up the ski. Always ensure to start the engine before turning on the water. Never run the engine for more than 15 seconds without the water connected. Once the engine has been sufficiently warmed up, disconnect the hose before shutting off the engine. Now place a nine inch level like this one directly on the valve cover. Raise or lower the tongue of your trailer as necessary to level out the engine. Next, remove the dipstick pictured here, as well as the oil fill cap pictured here. Make sure to place them on a clean paper towel out of the way. Now, snake the tube from your vacuum extractor down the dipstick tube. This particular extractor works on air pressure, so turn it on and watch as the extractor vacuums the oil out of the crankcase. You should be able to extract about five quarts of motor oil. Next, place an oil absorbent cloth or clean paper towels below the oil filter. Use an oil filter wrench of your choice to loosen the filter and then loosen it the rest of the way by hand. Try to turn the filter upright as soon as possible to reduce oil spillage. All right, here's the new genuine Kawasaki oil filter. We've removed the old filter. As you can see, uh, unfortunately, just the way the ski is set up, you need to have a lot of fresh paper towels underneath the filter because there will be oil that spills. There is a small catch tray underneath the filter and that does catch most of the oil. You just need to use fresh paper towels or an oil pad to soak it up. As you can see, this is part number 16097-0007. This filter cost me $16.25. When I bought the ski, I bought, um, I think I bought three or four filters. They're always good to have on hand. So what you're gonna wanna do now, because the filter goes in, you gotta turn it upside down like this to put it in. You don't want to fill the filter up with oil, it'll just run right out. What we are going to do is add a little bit of oil into the filter just to prime and saturate that paper element in there. You can see it actually soaking up the oil and the level going down. And it was too hard for me to film, but now you can see I put the new filter down in there. It's hand tight. Uh, my glove was a little greasy, so I'm gonna remove the glove. I'm gonna tighten it as much as I can by hand, and then I'm gonna put the wrench on it and give it about a quarter to a half inch turn just to seat it. Uh, you don't wanna over tighten the filter. I use a funnel. You don't have to if you could pour it in. This makes it easier. Reinstall the dipstick, ensuring that the loop is facing towards the left side of the ski. Also, reinstall the oil filler cap and tighten it securely. After adding an amount of oil equivalent to the amount you removed, start the engine and let it idle to warm up for a few moments. Always ensure to start the engine before turning on the water, as demonstrated earlier in the video. Now shut off the water and then stop the engine. Make sure you clean up any spilled oil and wipe down all surfaces so that they are clean. Check your oil level one final time to ensure that the reading is between the high and low marks on the dipstick. Finally, reinstall the engine cover by installing the six stainless steel acorn nuts and washers you took off earlier. 
Put your seats back in place and now you're good to go. Remember to save all receipts and log this oil change in the back of your owner's manual. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe for more Kawasaki content. Warning, this procedure requires basic technical knowledge and tools. We suggest having an authorized Kawasaki dealer perform all service and repairs. Please refer to your manual for more information.